Hello Libra, Libra Rising, and Libra Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting August 14th, 2017. And um, I'm actually using an older deck this week. I'm actually cleansing the uh, Llewellyn Tarot right now, so... Um, good lord, that's Rambo bumping the camera. Hopefully he doesn't knock down the tripod. Nope, he won't, because I got him! So there we go. <laughs> I'm using my uh, Mr. Cat's Tarot, how appropriate. Um, and of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below, or go to integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on with the astrology this week anyway? Well, this week, it's all about Venus, your ruling planet. And when we have Venus on Tuesday forming an opposition to Pluto currently retrograde, it might actually bring up some issues. Um, we've got Venus in your 10th house of career forming an opposition to Pluto currently retrograde, your 4th house of home and family. And it does look like there could be some kind of breakthrough, either in the career front or in the home front, that does not bring out the best in a family member or in a current housemate. Um, this could also bring up a difficult issue or a difficult problem uh, that has yet to be uh, spoken when it comes to this person. This could be a relative, this could be a current roommate. Uh, but somebody's going to be dropping a bomb this week. Now, is this something we can solve? Yes. But this may actually be in direct response to a breakthrough that you have, which means there could be some envy or some jealousy going on in the background that he or she has not actually wanted to let go of and therefore would not process it by even bringing it up. So, you know, tread lightly. On Thursday, things get a lot easier. Venus will be forming a square to Jupiter in your sign, and again, career breakthroughs are on the rise. This could actually spell very, very uh, good amounts of luck coming your way, but be careful to take everything in excess. You don't have to accept it all right away. When Venus squares Jupiter, we tend to see a lot of breakthroughs come in the form of maybe extra money, um, or extra space, extra clients, or possibly an opportunity to boost your rank, especially since the 10th house is involved. However, it's important to pay attention again to where there can be too much of a good thing, so you're going to want to actually save some for later. However, again, whatever happens, it is all going to be for the best. Even when you get a pressure square like this, Venus and Jupiter tend to work very, very well together. So what's going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Sow. And the Sow talks a lot about being able to understand generosity um, and being able to also know when your generosity is being used correctly and actually being utilized, you know, fairly. You know, when we talk about the Sao, it's important to pay attention to where have we been, you know, very generous with people or where have people been generous with us. And it may be actually time to actually ensure a good relationship with this generous influence by either giving back or even receiving if you have been the generous person. You know, it's okay to do that, you know, and I think that on some level, whether it happens on, you know, on, on a regular basis or on an occasional basis, equivalent exchange must be adhered to. You know, that is how relationships stay in balance. And with the sow, it's important to pay attention to where, you know, if there has been somebody who's kind of been on the take, maybe it's time to switch roles with him or her. Or maybe if you've been in a situation where somebody has been, you know, very, very generous with you, this week we could actually find a way to, you know, give back and somehow have both of you get more from it. But the Sow is talking about paying attention to where those people are or if they, and, and taking care of yourself if it's you. You know, it's important to pay attention, you know, when it comes to the Sow being as generous as she is, you know, there's only so much to give if that energy is not being cycled and, and, and again being exchanged. And this whole week is going to bring a lot of lessons about that and opportunities, however, to, have to, to raise the capacity for what is there as well. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Three of Pentacles reversed. And there could actually be some issues going on with the teamwork breakdown. The Three of Pentacles reversed can indicate a situation, I mean, I think we might have had this even recently with you, um, where, you know, a group or maybe a peer group that we're a part of, a networking group, or a work team is not actually behaving like it is such. Um, sometimes we see that with the Three of Pentacles reverse show up where a person is um, maybe actually choosing to, you know, take more of a selfish attitude or their selfish intentions for being there are starting to supersede the best interest of all concerned. 
and it's important to know when to reel those things in. The Three of Pentacles reverse can also indicate as well, you know, when it comes to simply work and finances, it's important to pay attention to where somebody is not keeping up on their end of the bargain, whether they are not actually paying out, or perhaps, you know, you're working on a client-customer basis, and a person, or many people, are not actually doing this what is required of them. You know, do you have entry forms? Are there things that clients and customers are supposed to do to help you help them? could be a frustrating week if they decide to forego some of that pertinent and possibly required uh, and some of the required steps for actually being able to have this, you know, th this transaction get the show on the road. So, you know, make sure that you can, you know, kind of foolproof but also enforce what is asked of the people who are asking of you. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we do have the Five of Wands reversed. This could be actually a really good bit of news for those of you that have been hoping for a bit of a ceasefire, whether it's been an open conflict or just simply a bit of a cold war when it comes to a friend or a relative or a colleague. The Five of Wands reversed is saying everyone is actually laying down their arms. If people have been a bit hostile lately, um, and we know it's vogue to act all angry these days, the Fire Fall Wands Reverse is kind of saying there's a bit of maturity. Again, people are starting to actually want to have more of a, a regular, real person conversation. If you've been trying to actually settle a dispute, or maybe get past an ongoing issue, you know, the Five of Wands reversed is basically saying everyone is kind of willing to forgive and forget and kiss and make up during this week. And so it's a wonderful opportunity to get that going. Again, whether it's a tense Cold War or it's, you know, full-on open <laughs> hostilities, this is the kind of energy you want to see to, you know, get all of that negativity to subside. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the star card reversed. If something is meant to be, don't rush it, okay? The star card reversed is basically saying that, you know, you are going to be getting a lot of good this week. That we've already seen in the astrology as well. But some things are not meant to be here right now, right this second. And your challenge this week is to make sure that you are not rushed and you are not rushing when it comes to things actually finally becoming materialized. Whether it's, you know, because you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes we want to know if something's going to work and we accidentally push it too far too soon. You know, I've had situations where, you know, I've, I've done readings for friends and things like that, and I'm like, yeah, this actually, the, your astrology looks great, or your cards look great for this relationship, and, you know, it's, but then they just, you know, they kind of take that for granted and rush it, and it really does shake things up a lot. Free will works, you know, uh, for good or for ill. And with the star card reversed, you may have some things that, you know, other people are trying to rush to the finish line, or you yourself may be trying to kind of rush to a forced fruition. And this is not the week to be doing that, okay? Everything in its own time, at its own pace. There's a lot of other good things going on. If you got to wait another week or another two weeks for something else, let it be then. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Two of Cups reversed. This card, um, for some reason, I'm getting, I'm not getting anything scandalous, so don't worry, but I am kind of feeling with the Two of Cups reversed, like, there may be a need to assess when it could actually be that you and a partner, or you and a crush, are deliberately going against the other person's wishes, um, and this may actually be necessary or not necessary, I'm not sure. Sometimes when we see the Two of Cups reversed, you know, we are kind of going against what our partner or, you know, would approve of, or what they're going against what we would approve of. Now, the real test is, is that reasonable? Is the rule the problem, okay? Or is the action the problem? You know, and that's a very important thing to pay attention to. You know, sometimes the, the, the Two of Cups reverse can show up where, say there's a situation where, you know, your crush or your partner doesn't like one of your friends, but you're still on good, you know, terms with your friend. I think that you should still be able to talk to your friend. It's not loyalty, uh, it's subservience to cut yourself off just because your partner gets all antsy. And the same for all things vice versa. If a friend can't have you and, you know, cope with the fact that you're with who you want to be, then there is a problem there. You know, and there's a different, again, there's a difference between loyalty and subservience. They're not the same. And this week, I think you and a partner, you and a crush, you're going to have to actually walk the tightrope and see if you know the difference. 
even if somebody's going behind somebody's back, it may not necessarily uh, be because they are a terrible person. It may actually be because there is a rule that should not be enforced. So that is your horoscope, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.